Hi guys, welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Today I wanted to show you guys basically how to remove your stock Titan with the XL5 speed control and install a brushless system Vlinion from Traxxas. One of the first steps you'll need to do is remove the old speed control and motor. Grab your screwdriver. There's two screws on each side. One's on the side of the servo, and the other one's on the side of the motor. Now I had previously removed one of the screws. Now removing this out of the way, we're going to remove the chrome bolt that holds the motor plate. To remove the motor and plate, you're going to grab the motor and pull towards you and lift up. Now you'll have both pieces in your hands. Now you'll notice this wire goes directly to this, the receiver box. That's where you'll need to unscrew two screws there, plus two more. We're going to remove the top plate right here. There is two screws, one on both sides. I had previously removed one. Now grabbing you 2.5, two more screws on each side. Now, we're going to remove the plate. Just grab your wire, you'll know which one to pull out. And it should be plugged in uh, channel number two. Channel one is the servo, channel two is the speed control. Now, once you have this part in your hands, you can move the vehicle aside. Now we need to remove this plate because this plate will go onto the other motor. And keep those screws because you'll need them. Now I can put two other pieces aside. Now, adding the motor plate and the motor before screwing this onto it, you want to make sure when you're going to put it in the vehicle that you want your wires to be on top. Now, trying to keep them, that's where they'll need to go. Worst case scenario, if you guys forget about doing this, you'll see where your uh, wires will end up pretty much that center of your vehicle. In worst case, you just need to unbolt them and rebolt it after. There we go. Make sure these guys are tight. And I always do a dry test. See, my wires are on top, and I still have a lot of movement. <coughs> Sorry. Now we're going to remove this guy here, and we're going to install our speed control. And basically, the speed control bolts at the same place as the other one. Now, some of you might wonder what's this, this wire on the side here. That wire is basically if you want to add a fan on top of your speed control to keep it cooled. Tracks as the cell one, and that's the wire to power it. Now, I'll make sure both are 
fully tightened down. Put those wires aside here. Now what we're going to do here is route this guy here in the box. And we're going to put it in channel number two. Now just make sure in this box you'll notice there is two channels, number one and number two. Right now I just did in channel one by accident. We're going to flip it. Come on. There we go. Channel two. Now we can reseal this box back. Now, rebolting this box, make sure the blue gasket stays in place because that's your seal to make sure everything's waterproof. Now, on this guy here, you'll notice there is some uh, slots. You want to make sure your wires are in every slot. If they're not, when you're going to put this cap, you're going to basically squish your wires and that can create issues. And you want to make sure that that part is watertight too. There we go. Now we're going to move this wire underneath here because we don't need it. Now basically what we're going to do here is go back to our motor. We're going to remove, remove the pinion. And go to this guy here. Now you're going to notice on the motor there is a flat spot. You want to make sure your pinion is on the flat spot. Now basically you put your motor back in. Bring this down a bit because I'm not al aligned with the spur. I don't know if you guys can see this. But the spur ends here and my screw is still there. That means I need to go a little bit further down. There we go. And then grab our screw right here. And we grab our three wires, now blue with blue, yellow with yellow, and white with white. Now you have a retainer here, that this guy here, that holds your wire. This one sometimes is a little bit tricky to put in. There we go. Now this holds your wire. There you go, guys. If you have any questions or comment, please post them down below and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.